Hey, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Google has announced that V2 extensions, including uBlock Origin, will eventually be disabled in Chrome, and you will no longer be able to install it from the Chrome Web Store. And the deprecation has already started uh, happening to some extent or the other uh, in the Canary Dev and Beta channels of Google Chrome, as we have been talking about. And Google has said that basically by the end of this year, and I would definitely say by the end of January next year, V2 would have been deprecated uh, instead and re been replaced by V3. Now, in regards to the extension will no longer be able to be installed from the Chrome Web Store. If we head over to the Chrome Web Store and we do a search for uBlock Origin, which is a V2 extension. This is currently what the message says, as we have spoken about on the channel. This extension may soon no longer be supported because it doesn't follow best practices for Chrome extensions. So that's what Google is saying in the Chrome Web Store regarding uBlock Origin, which is a V2 extension. Now, if we head over to Microsoft Edge and we head into the Edge add-ons store, and we do a search for uBlock Origin, which is a V2 extension. And we hover over Featured because it is a featured extension. Microsoft has this to say. This extension follows all of Microsoft's recommended practices and has been verified. Because both Chrome and Edge are going to be deprecating V2. So this could cause a little bit of confusion and is a bit strange. When I first saw this kind of contradiction, because as mentioned, Google is saying doesn't follow best practices. Microsoft is saying follows recommended practices. I was a little bit confused and then I dived a little bit deeper online and there might be a reason why this is happening. Although both are going to be deprecating V2 extensions, one is saying doesn't follow best practices, the other is saying it, is re it does follow recommended practices. So there could be a reason for this. Now, first of all, in case you're unaware of what a manifest file is, a manifest file is the blueprint of an extension and a manifest file for an extension includes information such as the version number of the extension, the title of the extension and the permissions needed to run the extensions. And that's why um, Google has said they are deprecating V2 to improve uh, the performance, security and privacy and to reduce the risk of bugs. That's Google's reason for deprecating V2 extensions, including uBlock Origin, which obviously has been met with a lot of debate because uh, uBlock Origin is a very popular ad blocker and content blocker, as we have been talking about on the channel. Now, getting back to Microsoft and uBlock Origin and V2 extensions. Microsoft, in October of 2020, that's basically four years to the date, announced the decision to embrace Manifest V3 as well, which they said was to help reduce fragmentation of the web for all developers and enhance privacy, security, and performance for end users. Exactly the same reason as Google Chrome. Okay. Now, if we head over to an overview or a manifest timeline for Microsoft Edge and Partner Center over on Microsoft Docs. Here we can see something interesting, that it seems that Microsoft and the Edge browser are going to be maybe extending their support for, v for V2 before they completely move over to V3, and you'll see why I'm saying this. Because Google and the Chrome web browser have already said, and have already started in June of this year, as mentioned in the preview versions, disabling extensions, where that hasn't happened yet in the Microsoft Edge web browser. But let's just read on. Microsoft says, the Microsoft Edge team will independently decide on manifest V3 migration, timelines for Microsoft Edge add-ons, 
and share an update here. We continue to analyze the concerns raised by extension developers and explore the optimal path for the Microsoft Edge add-ons ecosystem. And yeah, they say the Microsoft Edge team is currently in the process of updating this MV3 migration timeline. And by the way, this article is dated the 12th of September of this year. So that's basically a month or so ago, give or take. Now getting back to the timeline. And here's the time frame. Here's that announcement in July of 2022. And to be done, no change. They still say manifest V2 extensions will no longer function in Microsoft Edge, even with the use of enterprise policies. So there's no change and that's still to be done. So Microsoft hasn't decided yet, unlike Google Chrome and Google who have. So there's a very good chance the reason we are seeing this message in the Edge add-on store for uBlock Origin as an example. And the reason we are seeing this message in the Google Chrome uh, web store is because obviously Google has already got a, a timeline in place and it seems that according to what we've just looked at over on Microsoft Docs that Microsoft um, is possibly going to extend that timeline because they haven't given us a timeline, an exact timeline like Google has. So I thought that was interesting. And this, these little banners in the different stores have been causing a little bit of confusion. So I thought that was interesting. Did a bit of research and just wanted to share it with you guys because this has been causing quite a lot of interest. And in regards to this, I posted a video earlier today that um, Bravey stand in firm saying that it will not ban uBlock Origin um, in the browser, unlike Chrome, and that's part of the browser wars. That video will be linked down below and in the end screen. And in case you want to carry on using uBlock Origin as an example in Chrome, I have posted a video as well, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, how you can extend uBlock Origin support in Chrome for another year on Windows. Go check those videos out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.